One of the oldest opera companies in the country is right here in Colorado. The Central City Opera Company is celebrating its 90th season and are in the midst of their summer season. Jeff Todd shows us how after nine decades of history, the company is looking to the future. A former mining town once rich with ore, now rich with history. People were coming in droves. They heard of the, the gold strike, the vein of gold that was found of how, about a half a mile down the hill from here. And in the middle of all that gold, the town decided they needed a gem. They talk about it being a gem, uh, you know, of a little opera house. An ornate opera house in the middle of the mining town built in the 1870s, along with a hotel next door, in the hope of making Central City the capital. The Opera House signified that there was culture here and not just a place to come and, and get robbed and shot at, like the, the, the good old West shows in the movies. And while Colorado's capital ended up some 30 miles away, the mining operation dried up long ago. Golden voices can still be heard echoing through the streets of Central City. Opera has is a little bit stigmatized of a word. People Kira think, is know, among dozens older. of artists that flock to Central City for the festival each year. People think kind of older, like art form, kind of, you know, not something that's relatable in a different language. Um, you have to like dress in a gown or, you know, be wealthy to attend the opera, and it's just not that. She started as an apprentice five years ago. Now she's a leading lady, sort of. I'm playing a pants role, which means I'm actually playing a, a man. She says the Central City Opera Company is building up the next generation of artists <laughs> and audience members, and that the small, nearly 150-year-old opera house keeps the love of opera alive. This house, oh, this house is so special. It, it takes you, it, you feel like you're in Europe. It's a small, like, gem box theater, 550 seats, I think, and so you can really see see people's expression on their face and see the action and feel like a part of it, which makes people feel like, oh, I can actually, this is accessible. I can relate to this. The company is performing three works over the course of the festival. In just 10 minutes, the curtain will rise on Central City Opera's 2022 production of The Light in the Piazza. Some are classics, others brand new. Some are performed entirely or partially in English. We need to honor the past while look to the future. And I think that's where we are. Again, there is this 90 year history, and yet it's only 10 years to the 100th. And so the question is, what do we want to be doing, you know, for the centennial? I feel really excited about the future of opera, both in the country, in Colorado, here in Central City. In Central City, Jeff Todd covering Colorado First. And if you want to check out the Central City Opera House and see a show for yourself, it's not far, less than an hour from Denver. The summer festival runs through July, and you can find a link to get tickets on our website, cbscolorado.com.